Yeah, this is uh, Venerable Gilbert here. We want to thank God for another good evening. We want to share from the Word of God. And for the few next, next few minutes, let us join together as we share the Word. Let us pray. Our God and Father, open our ears and open our hearts that this Word will be true to us. That we will not look at the situations and the circumstances that we are in as if it has come to finish us. But the Lord is setting us up so that we may be catapulted and we may be promoted in Jesus' name. The word of God comes that we are going to share today is coming from the book of Romans chapter 28, verse, uh, chapter 8, verses 28 to 30. Romans chapter 8, verses 28 to 30. He says that he, and he knows that for those who love God, all things work together for good for those who are called according to his purpose. Verse 21 and 29 adds, For those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to conform and to be conformed to the image of his son, in order that he might be a firstborn among many brothers. Verse 30. And those whom he predestined, he also called. And those whom he called, he also justified. And those whom he justified, he also glorified. All things. All things. All things is what the Bible is saying, that all things work together for good for those whom he has called according to his purpose. He has called it for his purpose. And all things. It not, does not say some things. All things. Even this corona pandemic, is working for your good. Never think otherwise. Don't bow to the pressure and to the many things that are coming that you think that this thing has come to finish us. It has not come to finish us. God is using this. It has come, but he will, he will use it for our good. Whenever anything bad has been allowed to come into our lives, he uses it for our good. He uses it for our good so that it may elevate us rather than crush us. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, he says, No temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able but with temptation will also make the way of escape that you may be able to bear it. There is nothing, no pressure, no nothing, no nothing will be allowed to come to you that will be able to overcome you. God will provide a way. The story is told about Joseph. Joseph went through a lot of negative period. Joseph suffered in his childhood he became an enemy to his brothers, and his brothers thought of killing him. But they spared his life and sold him to, as a slave. He was taken to Egypt, and he served a man known as Potiphar. In the house of Potiphar, there was a challenge, because the wife of Potiphar had this thing of falling in love with him. But Joseph resisted because he knew his God. He held on to his integrity, even in a foreign land where no one was looking. And when Potiphar's wife could not succeed, he accused Joseph falsely. And in accusing him falsely, Joseph was thrown into jail. Something very unique here. I want to bring to your attention something. That when Joseph was thrown into jail, he was thrown into jail, where the king's, the king's servants were being thrown. Those who have done something wrong, those who have messed up in their ministries at the king's, they are thrown in a different jail. And so he was sent to jail. If you take note of some of the similarities, is that Joseph is going to jail because he has stood by his integrity. And even as he is in jail, he has refused to sleep 
or to fornicate with the wife of Potiphar. Later, God gives him a divine connection. Even the jail that he was put in was a jail that was to connect him with the next level that he was going. Our God, even as the title of, of our, 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 our sermon is, he is the master of all and lord of all the living. Even those bad circumstances that are in your life are setups for your next promotion. Joseph is moved from Potiphar's house to the king's jail where king's servants are being held, withheld and there the Lord is with him. Sometimes we go through storms and you are sure that the Lord is with you. It means that the Lord is just allowing this so that he may teach you something and promote you. Joseph was held in jail. If Potiphar had released Joseph and not thrown him into jail, Joseph would have gone back to his home. But he had to be arrested so that he may wait for the right time for his promotion. And he had a purpose to fulfill God's purpose. God is not interested in your cohort. He is more interested in your fulfilling his purpose. It is important for us to take note of that. When Joseph was released from jail, he went and interpreted the dream of Pharaoh and he was found to be the right man who will do the work that was to be done in Egypt. And he was given a wife. Guess what name he was? His wife's name is, was Asena, and the father was Potiphar, a priest. So in other words, Potiphar <laughs> was less <laughs> than the one where Joseph was going. And so Joseph gets Potiphar's daughter, and this was a wedding that was blessed by Pharaoh himself. If you resist the temptations, God will take you to the place where you will get your breakthrough. Masquerades will come, but never fall from masquerades because God has a mission for you. It is good for you to take note of this.